Thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate it. You know, at all of our past events, we've been getting pushed. People saying, stay until 11. Stay until 11.30. Stay all night. But I'm getting the feeling that maybe this is just maybe this is just a little bit too long. I feel like people are a little drained. I see a lot of dead, tired faces. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um... What I'd like to do, um, sorry, uh, could somebody, um, David, could you, could you shut this door or somebody? Yeah, no, you got it, you got it, you got it. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Um, so what I'd, what I'd like to do now, I'd really like to bring up James. Um, is anybody familiar with Keep Hanoi Clean? Anybody know Keep Hanoi Clean? Yeah, awesome, yeah, golden, thank you so much. Yeah, so there are uh, many more opportunities throughout Hanoi um, to, uh, to give back. Uh, I know, especially within the English teaching crowd, I feel like a lot of us feel like we're given a whole lot and don't exactly know how to give back, and there are a lot of people who are leading that way. Um, so I, I'd like to give James a couple of minutes to speak, um, and then we're going to close things down. Stick around as long as you want to. Puku never closes, so you can stay until 5 o'clock in the morning if you want to. Um, but first, we will hear from Mr. James. Uh, so one big round of applause, please, for James, the founder of Keep Hanoi Clean. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thank you so much to John for inviting me here. Thank you, everybody, for attending tonight. And thanks for taking an interest in climate change and uh, our planet, because it's it's something that's it's a, it's a huge threat to the future of the world. I mean, um, anyway, one of the things I, I, I think about, you know, is, is what can I do um, to make a difference in the way people think and the way people do things? Um, I, <clears throat> I tend to, to think globally and act locally um, because if, if, if everybody could do that, then we could change a lot of things, not just in Vietnam but all around the world. Um, I'm the founder of Keep Hanoi Clean. We've been doing cleanup events around the city for about two and a half years now. Um, I first started uh, in a small little canal. Uh, it was just full of trash. You could not see the water. All you could see was just trash lined up. Um, so I just I made the decision one day to just start doing it. Um, after that, the a few people in the government, local government, were really embarrassed about what I was doing because they looked bad, and they told me to stop. They I said, you can't do this anymore, and that was a huge story in the news, and then the mayor contacted me, and he said, hey, um, I want to meet you, and so he came to my apartment building, came to my apartment, and he said, I'm sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, I fully support what you're doing, and it's great, and we need more people like you. And from now on, you don't need to ask permission to clean up anything in, in, in the city. You can do just clean up anything you want, and <laughs> which is great. It was great. And, yeah, he said, you know, um, if, if you need our support, we're here to support you. Just let us know. If something's too big for you to handle, we'll support you. You know, just let us know about a week in advance. So for the past couple of years, the government has been a, a huge supporter of what we're doing. Um, and they've also been doing a lot. I don't know if you've noticed. Just one place I could mention is all of the trees they've planted along uh, the highway that goes to the airport. In the past two years, all of those trees are new. Um, so the government here is taking steps um, to do things, you know, to make an improvement in the city. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you guys is... Um, we really need more support from the expat community. Uh, the more foreigners that are here that join with us, it's, it's, it's like, it's like uh, whenever we have uh, just a couple foreigners that join with us, Vietnamese people, just it, it just like reaches inside their soul. And they're like, oh, they're doing this for our country, and we're not doing anything. Well, we're maybe not doing anything, but now I'm saying like, they do some stuff, but they're like, ah, it, it, it drives them. It motivates them to get involved also. So um, anyway, the more foreigners that join, the more they also want to do something. It, it, it really motivates them uh, to get involved, to protect the environment, 
to take steps in their own life. Um, so please join, please join uh, our group. Um, sure, sure. The best way to find us is, well, we've got basically just Google. Just Google Keep Hanoi Clean, and you'll find, you'll find our website. You'll find our Facebook page. We've got two Facebook pages. One's a group page. One is a fan page. Um, and just hook up with us on, on, online. Um, we've got a, uh, an email, info at keephanoyclean.org. Our website is just keephanoyclean.org. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I will say that one thing we're doing in the future about, well, it's kind of loosely connected to climate change. We're going to be doing a campaign um, here in Hanoi. Uh, and we hope to spread it all throughout Vietnam about burning trash. Um, there's a lot of trash burning going on in the city, and the way they're doing it is, you know, they, they're mixing plastic in with all of the other burnable items, and they just burn it up, you know, and obviously um, I don't really need to explain how dangerous it is to breathe in that smoke. You all, I'm sure you all know uh, how toxic and dangerous it is. Um, so yeah, that's one that's one project we're working on. Um, we're hoping to have our video uh, come out probably in mid December or maybe even late December. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you for listening. And uh, yeah, upcoming cleanups. Um, we t we tend to update the Facebook page whenever we have a cleanup event coming up. Um, we also, we're doing a lot of fundraising now. We're working on doing a mini golf championship uh, in December to do fundraising. Um, so yeah, just, just keep up with our, you follow us, follow our pa Facebook and that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sure, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, speaking Vietnamese really helps. Um, I can sp I'm not fluent, but I can speak Vietnamese pretty well. And it seems to really connect with Vietnamese people on a personal level. Um, and that it really helps, yeah. Um, <coughs> we've, we've had a lot of news reporters contact us about, hey, you know, when are you going to do your next cleanup? We really want to, you know, do a film and... So I think I think being a foreigner and being able to speak Vietnamese really helps a lot, um, and that and that helps also with with connecting businesses as well. Um, and I one thing I, I I talk to my team about is you know we have sponsors. A lot of them are restaurants, and I frequently visit those restaurants. As you can tell, I have a really big stomach. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I mean and. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in endorsing our sponsors as much as possible, I mean, without trying to, like, really push their products like it's, like, selling something. I don't know. I mean, it's 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 not easy. Um, yeah, I, I, I think a lot of sponsors want to know that, you know, by sponsoring us, they're they're making a difference as well. A lot of a lot of sponsors they 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 like to know that they're part of something as a whole. You know that they're they're pushing forward to to help Im make improvements in the environment. Um, a lot a lot of uh, what we're doing is raising awareness, and uh, a lot of people now they they're very aware that the environment is 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 being damaged severely every day that we move forward. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. Um, we... I know, I know it's almost 11 o'clock. I know that's not what you signed up for. Um, I'm going to do my best in the future to get you guys out of here, I think, at least a little bit closer to 10. I feel like this has maybe gone on a little bit too long. Um, I, I do want to say, if you have any feedback, 
about anything that we did here tonight, I would really appreciate hearing that. You can send me a private message on Facebook. Um, you can write a message to the Hanoi Philosophy Forum. Or if you prefer, I'm just going to leave this here on the couch. Um, if you'd like to sign up for our future uh, open mic night, sign-ups are also here. Um, if you'd like to suggest any topic, you can also do that here. If you'd like to be a part of the team, um, you can find some descriptions for those things in here or any general feedback. You can definitely um, fill that out right here, and I'm going to leave a pen right with it. Please don't steal it. That's my favorite pen. Um, all right, guys. So that's, yeah, that's basically everything. Um, there are a lot of people to thank um, as a part of this project. So I'm just quickly going to say their names. If you're a part of this and you're still here, maybe a lot of people left. Uh, but Jumson, Justin Simpson, Govinda Linart, uh, Laurie Hardy Stewart, Truett Urbanic, David Fryer, Andrew Farang, Tu Huai Nguyen, Killian Blay, and myself. Thank you so much for all of the hard work, guys. Uh, that is it. Good night. Good night.